Good evening. With less than a week to go before voting takes place for the new West Midlands Police and Crime Commissioner, a special hustings debate has been held in Birmingham this evening. All four candidates standing for the post took part, explaining how they would help run the force if elected. Our reporter Sarah Falkland was there and joins me now. Uh, Sarah, it wasn't a great turnout, was it? No, it wasn't, I'm afraid. Only about 30 people. A little disappointing, especially when you think that this by-election has cost something like £3.7 million to hold. The organisers were really hoping that people would get behind this live debate. And especially when you think, you know, when the late Bob Jones got elected, the turnout for that was appalling. It was something only like 12%. So, yes, all the four candidates were there tonight, introducing themselves and their ideas. There was David Jameson for Labour, Keith Rowe, for UKIP, Les Jones for the Conservatives and Ayub Khan for the Lib Dems. And they're all competing on a supplementary vote system. That means that the public, people voting, get two votes. They get a first and a second choice. So what sort of questions did they face from the public there? Well, they had an awful lot of questions about how, if they were elected commissioner, they'd deal with things like racism and, and perceived corruption within the police. Also, how they would retain their impartiality from the force itself as commissioner. Um, some people felt that the police commissioner's door hadn't always been open to them in the past and that they hadn't been listened to. But here's a little flavour of what people thought, whoever gets elected, that this should be their first priority. I actually want to see one of them doing something about corruption within police forces, not just talking, actually doing something about it and bringing somebody to book. Uh, the big issue for me personally would be corruption. I would like them to take a pay cut and take 50k and then the other 50k could be spent on a victim's commissioner or whatever. Trust and confidence and every single candidate has mentioned it, whether it's stop and search or serious incidents or police discipline. Unfortunately, I don't think they've actually grasped what trust and confidence is. Yeah, in fact, the lady that we heard from just there reminding everyone how the late Bob Jones has said he was overpaid on £100,000 a year. But voting on Thursday, we should know who the new commissioner is on Friday. Sarah Falkland, thank you. And if you want to find out more about the candidates and what their main election pledges are, there's a quick guide on our Facebook page.